Okay, let's take a look at the brand new Revo slot car that's come out. We're going to take a look at it and do a little review of it here. So we've got the, the box that's come in here from 132nd scale and from Allen. And we'll just open this up and take a look at it and see what this car looks like. As always, everything from Allen comes very, very well packed. You don't have to worry about any damage in shipping. And here it is. We'll cut this one open as well. And we'll take a look at this. Now, Revo Slot is a brand new, sort of a brand new name to the slot car world. Basically, Revo Slot has been a manufacturer in China for about 10 years now of different cars for different companies. And this is their first entry into sort of doing their own cars. And I say sort of because they had the guidance and assistance of BRM to help them with this project. So. Uh, let's take a look and see how this is gonna look. Let's see if I can even get the box open. Here we go. Okay. Nice presentation box. I'll give him credit on that one. A little promotional, little promotional piece here on the inside showing all the different pieces to the car. That's a nice, nice little ad. And then underneath the paper, oh, there it is. Um, all right, so let's take a look. This is the, it's packaged very much like a BRM, a little teeny BRM. Um, and what we get in the box is basically is the car, the magnet that we can use to put up on the refrigerator, and a wood guide. So it actually comes with its own wood guide. So we'll go over the differences between that, and we'll talk about that here as well. So let's take off the magnet from the bottom we won't necessarily need that and we'll take away the tape and then we will unscrew this and we'll take a look at the car itself and we'll see exactly what it looks like on the inside and see what this car is all about all right well i think it's apparent really quickly what this car is about to a large extent you look at it right there you'll see it's a it's a metal chassis so it is a 132nd scale metal chassis that's made by BRM with BRM running gear in it as well so super simple design we're gonna take off the four very long body screws that hold the chassis to the body you can see how long those are so super, super simple design as far as that goes. And last one. Whoop. Okay. Let's see what we've got. <clears throat> so there is the chassis. I like the, lots of things about this chassis are really, really cool. The fact that uh, it actually has red and, and uh, black mo uh, wires, motor wires is kind of an interesting addition. <clears throat> you can see how it has the float uh, between the motor pod, the guide, and then the piece that holds the actual body. So uh, the, help, the float is adjusted through the four screws there. It has a very nice setup for axles which and bearings, which are it uses bushings on those as opposed or bearings as opposed to bushings. One of the other interesting pieces is, is it uses the three millimeter uh, axles, just like you'd find on any BRM car. So that's a pretty different uh, thing than what you're gonna find on most 132nd scale cars. There are uh, 
bearings that are made that you can use to replace these to run three three thirty seconds axles in these if you choose to. Um, <clears throat> one of the early limiting factors to this car is the fact that you are limited by the spur gear and that there's only one currently available. And it's a 33 tooth. So you can, if you want to expand your range of spur gears, you can run uh, the different bearings in the back, run a 330 second axle, and of course you'd replace the, the wheels, but then it would open up a, a wide range of um, slotted spur gears for you to run in there. So. All right, but just on the opening, that looks really good. Very, very nice design. And the body is beautiful. The body is, this one is the one that ran at Daytona and placed third in the GT2 class. Uh, very nice design, very nice tampos on it. And then um, Lexan interior. So as you can see, it's not a full interior, it's a half interior tray. And the tray is Lexan, so it's super light. So they've done the the work that a lot of guys in the club would do to replace the interior with a Lexan one, uh, trying to keep the weight minimal. So all in all, a really, really nice, very well thought out design. The um, Just enough detail, not not so much that it's over the top. The Each one of the body posts does carry, does have on it one of the um, BRM rubber bumpers on there and uh, you can run either with, with or without those. They're an interesting little ad. They definitely help make the car run uh, on the track a lot uh, quieter than it would normally. So you can choose to run with or without those. Nice design though. And so let's come back to what we've got here with the uh, with the chassis. So the chassis is, I say, all aluminum. Really nice aluminum wheels, front and rear. Um, not really any anything that's missing. Uh, that you'd be missing on this design. It's very, very well thought out. Uh, and even the setup, the gear mesh is actually pretty good to start with. But obviously it's something we'd want to be playing with on down the road. So there's our initial look at uh, the Revo slot Porsche 911 GT2.